To see her being able to actually jump in the pool it gives you a smile on your face. We've had a couple very dark years where we didn't see a future, we didn't see hope. Nicole started to have seizures in 2011 at three years of age. Uh, she came to Children's Hospital in uh, Minnesota Epilepsy Group in 2012 when she was referred by a local neurologist for advanced epilepsy care and pre-surgical evaluation. How are you? So Nicole was evaluated uh, in the epilepsy monitoring unit and we did try various medications in different combinations which were able to make her seizure free for a few months but her seizures returned back. At that point of time she was diagnosed with refractory focal epilepsy which is defined by failure to two appropriately chosen seizure medications. Based on Nicole's history and the results of all the tests done, we were not able to pinpoint an area of the brain which was causing the seizures. At that point of time she was discussed in our surgical conference when it was decided that she will be a good candidate for stereoencephalography, also known as SEEG. SEEG is, is more than just a surgical procedure. It's a, actually a way of thinking and it's a methodology that uh, really changes the way we approach uh, complex epilepsies. The plan for today is to place 15 depth electrodes into the portions of Nicole's brain that we believe are most likely involved in the development and the rapid spread of her seizures. One of the main um, pieces of equipment that we rely on for uh, SEEG is the, the ROSA, the stereotactic robot, uh, which allows us to place each of these depth electrodes with uh, precision. We can hit a target within one millimeter accuracy uh, using the robot and we can do it in rapid successions. From that we'll be able to form a very accurate understanding of what needs to be removed or resected or treated in order to eliminate her seizure disorder. Any patient who has refractory epilepsy, which means they have failed two seizure medications, should be referred to a level 4 epilepsy center for pre-surgical evaluation and to see if they can be a good candidate for surgery. I'm doing good. Yeah. Do I get a high five? Good job. From where we so started we'll to now is... There's just so much that she can do. We're just so blessed to have this new technology that has given her a chance. There's endless opportunities and possibilities for her now.